Authorities say there is enough evidence to warrant a hate crimes prosecution in the shootings that killed three people yesterday. Frazier Glenn Cross of Aurora, Missouri is behind bars in Johnson County, Kansas. He hasn't been formally charged in the killings, but officials say more information about charges was ex is expected tomorrow. Police say Cross fatally shot two people Sunday afternoon at a Jewish community center in Kansas City. They say he then drove to a retirement community where he th shot a third person. In the last 22 hours, we've learned that uh, the acts that this person that this uh, person committed were uh, the result of uh, beliefs and his action were result of beliefs that he had and uh, that he was trying to hurt somebody based on their ethnicity, race, religion. Uh, there's a whole number of categories under a hate crime. Cross was arrested shortly after in an elementary school parking lot. Now that Kansas shooting suspect had a long history of racism and anti-Semitism. The 73-year-old is facing murder charges. Police again say he gunned down three people on the day before Passover, but none of the three people killed turned out to be Jewish. The suspect was even shouting anti-Semitic remarks after he was arrested. Violence motivated by hate is growing in the world. And so this really should be a wake-up call that good people need to be united against hatred in any form. U.S. law enforcement agencies reported 5,796 hate crime incidents in 2012, the latest figures from the FBI.